Hi all, another tutorial on FreeCAD. This time it's also on sheet metal and with holes in it. Of course you can do it. There are lots of people fighting with getting holes in unfolding and unfold them. You will get used to, if you use the system, as you start it, it's always difficult. I use always here at start, the system comes up with the start icon and then I get advice to use part design, therefore you get a real body, a real part. But you can do it also the hard way for low level construction and just do it. So we will today don't use the sketcher, just get the part and uh, make some nice things. Let's get started here. New here with the bottom here, new drawing or new uh, file. Go to part, not party sign. There's nobody inside now. So we start with the inside measurement, just a cube. The cube will be in length, height, and the height will be the thickness, two millimeter. This will get here the, the Y height. This is, let's say, 100. And go to 150 millimeters and the other side. This is the inside of our and folding. Now sheet metal, if you don't have sheet metal, just on the tools, add on manager and install it. These here are called workbenches. It's like mainly like plugins, but it's not as you think plugins. Of course they use the base system and so you can jump back and forth and have at any time you can put this part here on a robot and wave around if you like to. So let's go with this here and as in the same I will just select the with the control key pressed the corners you can also press the faces but this face and this face is not visible so I press just the corners and say let's bend it. So now most people think it's uh, here in the sidebar the next part we did make is uh, selected but it's not here you have to keep at uh, thinking what you're working on. So I here say bend, I would 90 degrees, the length is the height here in this case, I go for 25 millimeters and the bend radius is the inside radius 0.5. So this is the radius here in this corner. Okay, that's it for this and we go around here. So I will select here just, uh, there we go, no, let's do it all four, move around, that's why I said here you have to, you can select your, the corner and not the face, here, bend it outside. So you see it's sticky in, it sticks in, band 1, you have to select it here and you see it's always going down, down, down and you have no control over the system. Here, I, oh, 10 millimeters, I go for 420, so we have a good shape for our hole, 0.5 inside and it's still inside, you can't uh, unfold it if something is inside the other. So we go here, material outside, offset. 
and the offset is down here somewhere there are lots of things in here We're going too far where is there's the offset 2.1 millimeters go we have one tenth apart and you see here it, this should where you have to look if it does not touch if it touches it will not unfold it okay so keep it there the other thing is in the first tutorial now the hard way let's say the fancy part making some holes as we have no body we can't use a sketcher if we use the sketcher we don't we have to bring in uh, like as a you can use okay let's uh, let's use the sketcher bring it, get on this face making a hole you see it's not there flat face okay and there we go just a hole here inside i will um, make a measurement measurement to the center here escape goes always out here this one selects select this one measurement 140 millimeters measurement of the diameter let's say six and the measurement of the height go always to the plane main blades so let's say it's uh, a where we are 18 okay that's it for this thing and say okay now we have a drawing and we can get a hole the hole we make with party sign select the sketch and say hole we have to use a part that's the problem you can't use the sketcher here but you can use other things the fancy part that's why I'd always advise to start with part design you get real really real parts okay go back to part make a cylinder let's say the cylinder we have where is the cylinder here we have a radius of three millimeters our six millimeter ten height and three it's here where it is there it is here you see it and with the right mouse transforming i get it out here splash it over get it up uh, where we are let's move into standard standard front and let's okay front is okay get it to the front side standard front where is it transforming why is it not visible in the front view position wherever you want it you can take the measurements I have to use shift to get it there where I like to here inside okay and here are the placements yeah x11 y and z i go here with 15 and this one here we should go to 10. so we have it here and now we can make a cut symbol use we have to get this one selected and with the control key this one selected why does it not select the band and the cylinder now band and cylinder selected and just cut it out 
uh, and there is our hole okay you will see we don't have a sketch now we did one but it does not work with as we started with part now select the inside and go back to sheet metal and say unfold okay and we have our hole inside the part I hope you get the point I'd like to show you so you don't have to be a constructor just go to the display part and make it with the visible advisors and you always can get to what you like to okay see you next time hope I could help you